tools I've bought from Aldi recently. Um, pretty much I've bought all the tools you can offer in the uh, range apart from the drill driver which I don't really think I need and I've also bought the lawn mower and I do have the grass trimmer on the way soon. So just to start with the tools, obviously one impact driver, really like that so far, quite a good tool, feels well built. Uh, got the multifunction tool and also the angle grinder which does require the 40 volt batteries. To go along with it I've also bought, well I bought three packs of these, so you've got the tile and cutting accessory pack, the wood piece and I believe the other one was a metal piece cutting tool pack as well. Um, along with the multifunction tool you also get 10 sanding bits and a couple of bits in the actual box. For the drill driver, you don't get any parts or tools, you just literally get the, the the unit itself. And then the angle grinder, again, no discs included, just the tool itself. Uh, with the lawnmower, obviously no battery included again, but the lawnmower is pretty light and sturdy. I'd say, like, compared to my old Black & Decker cord, uh, corded, one mower, very very easy to use, very light. Um, definitely worth the eighty five pound I paid for it. Um, obviously you can see that I've bought some extra batteries. So we've got three forty volt batteries, and one of the twenty volt batteries as well. And I've currently just wall mounted my charger. Um, as you can see, I am a Ryobi user as well. I do have superchargers on the wall. And I do have a Ryobi impact driver along with a Ryobi drill and a Ryobi STS hammer drill, Ryobi circular saw, um, a corded Ryobi grinder, um, and a couple of sanders as well. The um, reason why I was looking, looking at this tool brand was simply because you know the price you pay for a tool of say £20 for impact driver, the cheapest Ryobi impact driver I could find was about £69, £70 just for the driver so you know what do you get for your money we'll do a few tests quickly and just see what the comparisons are between the Ryobi impact driver a basic one given and the ferrex driver and we'll go through a few of the tools and what's inside the packages In the box, you get one handle, disc install tool, uh, the cutting shield, quick release, and the tool itself with a grinding guard already installed. Fairly chunky, quite heft to it. Um, definitely not a light tool, but certainly a lot easier to use than a, a uh, corded one. This stop, again, quick release on the guard there. Um, yeah. Let's just uh, get a battery and see how well it goes. The 40 volt. Put the 40 volt in this fully charged. Spins up straight away. So, as with any grinder, one thing I do like is. It's not very secure, you need to lay it down, you can't leave it resting on the battery. As with any grinder to install, fairly simple, they're pretty much the same. Spindle lock, undo, it's the cheap disc. And 
installed. I don't have anything to grind currently, so I can't really show how well it does, but... So, on, and lock. Quite a bit of heft to it. Like I say, it's not a light tool, but, you know, I think if you add in the handle as well, it definitely makes it more usable. Three positions for the handle, left, right, and also one on top. So if you are going to grind down, you just some force to push on with. And also makes it a lot easier if you're cutting along grouting or sorry, along tiles to get that blade where you need it. And to be steady. Right, that's the grinder. So the next tool we're looking at is the multifunction tool. Um, these are part of a pack that you can get. Sand and discs, a scraping blade, a bimetal and wood blade, and again another bimetal and wood blade. There is a little bit of crossover between what you get in each pack, so I just basically I bought them because I wanted spares. So the floor working piece, you get another bimetal wooden blade, scrapers, and more bimetal wood blades. Then the tile one, obviously it's designed for tiles. And then in the actual box itself. You get the tool itself, handle, uh, adapter for the vacuum hose, and the actual vacuum hose adapter that goes around the top of the tool and lets you basically take away the dust. You also get another wood blade. Another blade, a sand and base, more sand and pads, and another tile piece box up, and another scraper. So I'll just put it all together and we'll have a look at it. It's a little bit difficult to get out of this because there's no real place to grip onto it. There we go. Now this will operate on both the 20 volt and the 40 volt. I'll show both of those working quickly. I have to say, you know, for £25, I think this was fairly well put together again. I'll just uh, quickly put it together and show you. Right, so to install a blade, pretty much universal parts lift up. I take it away forward, line up, and flip the lever back down. All the way down, and you're locked in place and secure. This does have a speed selection, one to six, an on button, and a work light. So, currently got it off the twenty volt battery. Will work off the twenty slash forty. Obviously, when you're in twenty volt mode, it just gives you extra amp hours to use up. So, if we uh, show what it's like on a bit of wood, we'll see how we get on with it, just cutting through very quickly. Start with uh, one, far too slow for that piece of wood because it is an old fence post. So we go two. Store them out. Go three. Stall out. To be fair, to cut through this bit of wood, I probably need on a six. Go to 25 and three. You know, very little pressure being used, just vibrates its way and oscillates its way through the bit of wood. Doing that 
one-handed, just holding the camera in place. Um, obviously, no real battery used. Um, I have to say, I've never owned an oscillating tool before, but definitely, don't think I'll ever be with that one again. Build quality, you know, a soft grip where it needs to be. Good quality plastic. Good build work quality to it. Metal head. Definitely worth £25 again for that tool. I highly recommend if you can find one, pick one up. Right folks, so now we're going to talk about the impact driver for a split second. Impact driver. I'm going to put the 20 slash 40 volt battery on there. I'm going to do a comparison between this and my Ryobi impact driver. Um, to be fair, like I say, again, it feels a good quality tool. Well built. Metal case in the front, obviously plastic, soft moulding, where it needs to be. Belt clip, really handy for me because I often help ladders doing stuff. You do have a work light down the front, which turns on with just a slight press. And you also have magnetic bit holders on either side. Um, those holders I do find sometimes, the way I hold it quite far up the grip. And I do find sometimes my hand will rub against that bit and knock it out. Most people probably hold it down here though, but I tend to hold it quite high up. Um, maybe it's just my peculiarity, I don't know. Um, I'm going to do a quick test now of how well it impacts. I do find with this drill, with this impact driver, sorry, that um, it won't impact as quickly as the Ryobi. It will um, basically drive the screw without impact. And then when it gets to the final end, it'll go through, and it'll probably go through a bit too far. Um, it's not the end of the world, but, you know, it won't stop as quickly as a Roby will do. And it's not go far, so far into the wood. But I'm going to do five screws in each one, see how we get on. You'll probably see what I mean in a second when the, I say the, the uh, Roby impacts sooner. If this is just less to go, it'll drive, then impact right at the bottom. Was the Roby will impact from the top. Um, you know, very easy to get in and out. That was going to the knot, so it took a bit more effort there. But, you know, all in all, well powerful, really powerful tool. Would say, if you need an impact driver and you want a cheap one, definitely pick that up. Now I've got my Ryobi here, it's a 4 amp hour battery, so actually in the way that the Audi batteries run it's actually a bit um, less powerful because obviously the 20 volt runs um, 2 times 2.5 amps for the 20 volt and then it goes, it goes down to 2.5 for the 40 volt. So 1 amp hour less, um, again a DeWalt bit. Um, Slightly quieter motor to begin with. Tri beam LEDs. Um, different style of chuck. This is this chuck you can do one handed. Obviously, don't really like that flying out, but you can do it one handed. Whereas the Ferex, you need, I'd say, it's hard to do one handed. Two is best, but you can do it with one, but not nowhere near as easy. Um, now you should see what I mean about the impacts. Rear will start impacting a lot quicker. I find the Roby doesn't tend to overdrive the uh, screws. With the Ferrex, you do tend to keep going a bit underneath the level of wood. It's not the end of the world, but you know, you don't want to split the wood or damage it too much. And then easy out. If I just go into the knot, you'll probably see how hard that was for the Ferrex to get in there as well.
goings when not, so obviously very hard. Um, I have tried paddle bits. This was the Ferrex I go to paddle bit earlier on. Went through there fairly easily, to be fair. Had no trouble going through there. Obviously, it would split a bit there, but you know, I'd say the Ferrex had no issue driving through. Um, I can try it again very quickly. I'm gonna go for a. I don't know if you can see how clear you can see that if it focuses. It's a 32 bit. This is what I mean about the choke, oh, sorry, the chuck for the ferrex. You've got to pull it out and then do that. You can do it one handed, but it's definitely not as easy. Definitely. So, we shall see how this gets on. I've seen this test online. I don't understand why you'd use an impact driver for this bit, but. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Just make sure I don't screw holes anywhere. I'll go down the far end. Bring you in a bit. Bit more trouble with the 32. We'll try 25 very quickly because I don't know it was 25 there and it went through quite easily. Let's change these out. It's 25. Alright, let's try 25. Try it in a different spot. This bit is a little bit bent, so it might be why it's impacting more this time. There we go. Bit of smoke coming off. I see a lot of heat there. The motor does feel a bit warm now. As you're running it, I can feel the heat on my hand. Uh, Battery's obviously not really gone down at all doing that. Um, yeah. So, I'd say that's a test passed. Fairly clean hold as well. So it can get through them quite easily. So, folks, the last thing to talk about that I bought, that I have currently, is the Ferex cordless 40 volt lawnmower. Um... I don't know who makes this, but it bears a striking resemblance to one offered by GTEC in the UK for roughly £400. Um, it could be a completely different manufacturer, I don't know, in the plant in China that makes them, but it looks astonishingly similar. Um, if you go online and have a look at GTEC's website, you'll be able to see that it does look very, very similar. There are a few changes here and there. Um, you know, the battery compartment's a little bit different on the on the GTEC. Um but yeah, it just strikes me as a very similar similar um unit. So from what I can see, it is made in China. But it's made by a company called Mogatech Modern Garden Technic in Germany. Um I did just do a search for one of their corded lawn mowers, and that's on Amazon in the UK for around about one hundred and thirty-five pounds. So they they seem like a decent enough manufacturer. Um, 
The unit is fairly well made, I'd say again. It is light, but that's not a detriment to quality. It's just, it's a light, cordless lawnmower. So, quick clamps there for the bars. Um, that's at a bit of a weird angle at the minute, but that's just because I've clipped up quickly. So, you have the safety switch and the bar. Both need to be depressed for the mower to work. Carry handle, back compartment. You need to have this red safety catch installed. Otherwise, the lawnmower will not work. So that needs to be installed. It is tied in there, so you shouldn't lose it. And you can fit one forty volt battery in there. Um, as for the grass collector, good, a snug fit. As you can see, I'm having trouble getting it out. So you know, can't argue better than that if it's tight. Has been used. I have cut my wand on the other day. I can't do a demo today because it is raining. Um, I believe it was 40 or 45 liter capacity. Compared to my old, old lawnmower, um, this collects a hell of a lot of the grass up. Um, so much so I didn't bother raking afterwards. I do have an electric raker slash scarifier that I used to collect the old great uh, the old clippings from my old lawnmower. Didn't need to do that with this one at all. It literally filled the grass bucket, the, the trimmings container with everything. Um, I'll put that back. Might be a task one handed, but we'll try it. Foot. There we go. Um, there is a little thing here that tells you how full it is, so when that starts going up, it'll tell you how full or not you are. Um, it has a 37 centimeter cutting radius. As you can see, I haven't cleaned it down yet from using it. Blaze got a little chip in already, but there we go. Like I say, and this will collect a good proportion of the grass. It'll go straight up that chute into the grass box. Um, like pretty much every lawn on the market now. Mainly plastic construction. You know, it's what they're made of now. So if we install a 40 volt battery, we'll see how loud it is. I personally think it's very quiet. It it ramps up quite slowly to full power, so you don't notice the noise as much. But um, yeah, so it's not very loud at all. Flip that forward. Battery goes in. And you'll hear what I'm going to say. I'm going to press the safety bars in. Uh, stops quite quickly afterwards. I don't think that's that loud, to be fair. I mean, I really don't. Compared to my old floor mower, it's nowhere near as loud. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned so far is height adjust. It does have five settings. Can go quite high. It's a bit stiffer the higher you go up, of course. That's on setting four. You can see there's a good amount of clearance there. We go to five. And five. So, definitely good. We've got tall grass. Put it on five to start with. You have no problem clipping the top of it, then going down. And to get back down to a low level, push forward, push forward, and back. Um, I've basically cut my grass so far on three and two. Haven't felt need to go to to go to four or five on my grass, but yeah, I'd say well worth the money for eighty-five pound. We'll see.
these are adjustable as well you can adjust these to where you want them yeah well worth them so uh just going to do a quick lawnmower test on the ferrex lawnmower um i've got two batteries out here currently hopefully i need one the lawn's not too high it isn't a bit of a state of the minute because i am redoing the lawn excuse my child in the background making stupid noises um yeah we'll see how we get on So after doing the last bit of lawn, um, emptying the uh, trimming basket once already, you can see this trimming basket is only now up to about there. So I probably would have done the entire garden with one basket and that's it. Um, you know, there's no trimming left on the ground really. I can't really rake them up so I'm not going to bother trying. Uh, as for the battery, don't know how long we're running for yet but the battery is currently well, you can still see three bars visible, but the third bar is very dim. Second's a bit dimmer, so so it's used about 30-40% of the battery, but still good going, you know. The guards are not huge, but it's still a decent size. Much easier with a cordless compared to a corded. Um, so yeah, all in all, happy with the Ferrex lawnmower. If you want to pick it up, £85, not a bad price, obviously batteries, 40 30 pound for the uh, 20 volt, 40 volt battery, and then 15 pound for charger. So folks, um, I have to say, currently impressed by the Ferrex Ranger tools at Aldi. Um, prices are great, you know, for the actual bare tools. I think the most you pay is 85 pound for lawnmower. Most things are 20 to 25. Um, batteries range in price from 15, but are they, uh, 20 volt, 2 amp power, up to £30 for the 20 slash 40 volt, 5 and 2.5 amp power batteries. Charger is £15. Might pick another one of those up to be fair, just to have another charger there ready to go. Um, so I will have the grass trimmer coming in the next couple of days. Might give that a go around the edges, but so far what I've seen it looks okay. Um, yeah, definitely worth £20 for an impact driver. Compared to my Ryobi, which I think at the time I got in a tool set and it was £110 for that and a battery. Um, I mean, if you want to compare battery prices, £30 for a 5 amp hour 20 volt battery compared to Ryobi's 4 amp hour 18, 18 volt battery. I still think you're looking at £50 for a 4 amp hour battery, if not more, depending on where you get it. So, 1 amp hour more for £20 less, minimum, you know, um, not bad. I will say as well, I have taken one of these apart. It does contain LG cells. I don't know how good the LG cells are, but they are definitely LG um yeah just in any case is anyone interested in this is made of pa6 with 30 percent glass fiber reinforcement so it's not it's a good material to have in a battery case and will definitely help absorb impacts give it a, give it some rigidity as well 
So, if you're looking for some cheap tools, especially the drill driver and the impact driver, I think they're a necessity. They save so much time by having both. I mean, I've got a, a Ryobi drill driver, or a hammer drill driver, and I use that just for the drillum, and the Ryobi and the Ferex for impact and those screws in. So yeah, definitely worth picking up. If you can find them. They are currently uh, out of stock a little bit in my local stores. Online still do have some. Um, I have notes as well. The Ferex lawnmower. My local store had about seven or eight left. But they had none of the grass trimmer or the uh, hedge trimmers left in stock at all. You can't currently buy the hedge trimmer online. But you can buy the grass trimmer online. Same with the tools, they had very limited um, amount of the tools left. Uh, impact driver seemed to be the one they had the most of, to be fair. I think that's probably the one they stocked up on the most. But um, yeah, and the batteries obviously were starting to dwindle as well. I think one store I went to only, only had the 20 volt batteries left, which is obviously no good if you want the angle grinder, which requires the 40 volt. But yeah, definitely worth the money, guys. Thanks for watching.